morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a look at MimicQV. Now, I'm excited to see MimicQV, because we knew MimicQV was coming. We were told it was on the sell sheet for Battle Styles. So we knew it was coming, we knew it was a thing, and I made a little prediction video. The lovely Poker Guardian made me a, a lovely mock-up of it. Obviously, this is not official artwork and should not be considered as such. It's a fun little mock-up. And I basically made three predictions in terms of what it would do. I told you that it was going to copy, disrupt, and help you set up. Let's see how right we were, shall we? Now, obviously our translation comes from the lovely Antoine Boulet. You should know that by now. In terms of HP, we predicted a low HP. Oh my goodness, we were wrong. Well, I mean, it's low, but it's even lower than we thought. It's got 160 HP. Now, I, I said it was probably going to have 180 because I expected it to have a low HP. But, oh my goodness, this is just horrifically low. I mean, if you want to compare this to any other Pokemon V, the only one... Anyone think about it off the top of their heads? There is one Pokemon V that has HP this low. It's Phalanx V, but that's not fair, because Phalanx has an ability, which means it takes 20 less damage for each Phalanx that you've got in play, including itself. So, yeah, that is weak. It's got a retreat cost of 2, which incidentally is another thing that we were wrong about. Almost like they were watching the video and they were like, <laughs> we'll show you. And to be fair, every Mimikyu we've ever had has had a retreat cost of 1. Every single one. And this has a retreat cost of two, so I don't think I can be held accountable for that. Although Air Balloon will still give you free retreats. Uh, don't worry too much about it. The resistance to fighting we did get correct. Yay, go us. In a world where there's lots of really good fighting weak Pokemon like Eternatus, it's nice to have a resistance to fighting. And the weakness of darkness is another thing that we got right, and it means it's weak to Eternatus, which is not good. And of course, it's a psychic Pokemon. It had to be, so I don't know. It, it's all right, but in terms of the basics here, I'm not loving it. And we were, well, we were not that right about this. 160 HP really does worry me. It is going to have to be good to justify that. Well, according to Antoine, what we have in terms of an ability here is one that is rather fitting for Mimikyu as far as it goes. Dummy Dole. You may use this ability once during your turn when you play this card from your hand onto your bench. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Oh. Oh, that's good. Now, it, it's still an incredibly weak Pokemon in terms of HP. It's still got very, very low HP. But... You get immunity the turn you play it. And that's kind of cool. I can get on board with this, ladies and gentlemen. I can get on board with this. And what we really need to do at that stage is try and find a way to do this over and over and over and over again. Now, were this not a Pokemon V... I'd be all like, scoop up net, bam. But scoop up net doesn't work on Pokemon V, which is a little bit sad. If it did, that would be awesome. You could just pick it up again and again and keep playing it down and keep getting immunity and life would be good. But that's not the way it works. But might I interest you in Corviknight? Now, I know Corviknight's a stage two and I know the stage twos are inherently awkward. None of this is lost on me. I admit this right off the bat. However, you got to point out at this stage, picks up Pokemon V. You see, Corviknight's got the ability Flying Taxi. When you play it from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put one of your Pokemon other than Corviknight and all attached cards into your hand. So Corviknight can pick up Mimikyu, and then of course Scoop Up Net can pick up Corviknight, and then you can potentially play this over and over again. We're still waiting for a Super Scoop Up reprint. 
And I imagine it's it's going to happen at some point, you would think. Because Super Scoop Up is one of those cards that does just tend to get reprinted over and over again. But it's been a little while. Celestial Storm was the last print we had. And since then, we've had Scoop Up Net. So maybe there's a chance that Pokemon have turned around and gone, ah, you know what? Super Scoop Up, don't need that anymore. We've got Scoop Up Net will be fine but it came around in neo genesis and neo genesis was a long time ago and that was the start of gen 2 in the tcg i don't know feels like it's about time for a super scoop up reprint but if we get any other cards that allow you to reuse this this will work there is a more awkward combo you can use and it, i don't know how much i can really suggest using this but we do have Giovanni's Exile, which discards up to two of your bench Pokemon with no damage counters on. Now, of course, this will only work if you've got no damage on, but the turn after you play it, you will have no damage on because of the whole ability. And then you can, you know, ordinary rod it back into your deck and then replay it. It's way more awkward, but it is a possibility. Something to bear in mind, at least. So we're getting all of this immunity. What does the attack actually do? Is it worth getting the immunity? Well, for one psychic energy, you put three damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon for each prize card your opponent has already taken. <laughs> this is such a weird card. Also, while we're here, this is very strange artwork. This doesn't look like your average Pokemon card, which is really cool. I don't know if I love the art, but I am definitely digging how cool it is and how different it is. But in terms of the attack, it's a weird one. Like, even if your opponent's taken five prizes, you can drop 150 damage on. You can drop 15 damage counters. And incidentally, it is dropping damage, not doing damage. So anything that blocks damage, but not all effects, you will go through. So, I mean, top of my head, something like Decidueye, for instance. That could be kind of fun. Decidueye, of course, got that awesome ability. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V and GX. Well, this isn't damage. It's dropping damage counters. So you will actually be able to KO a Decidueye using this, which is kind of cool. But honestly, I don't know if it's going to be enough. This seems like the kind of card where you have to be really like over the top, full on, hyper specific in terms of when this is actually going to work. So what I really love the idea of here is, you know, it's late in the game. Your opponent's got one prize card remaining and essentially you drop this. And you scoop up that Giovanni's whatever, all your other Pokemon away. So the only Pokemon you've got in play is Mimikyu. But you shouldn't worry about Mimikyu being the only Pokemon you've got in play. Even with 160 HP. Because even though it's got 160 HP, you've got this wonderful ability. Which prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. Now, it is, again, only damage. So any other effects will go through, like damage counters, etc. But you'll be able to judge on the particular matchup as to whether this is, is going to be safe or not. And then when you do all of that, you get to drop 15 damage counters. Your opponent has a turn where they can't hurt you. And then you get to drop another 15 damage counters. Now, with Super Scoop Up, the idea of playing a second one of these and then Super Scoop Up in the first, do it in that order, else you'll Super Scoop Up and lose. This could be really fun. I do think with Super Scoop Up or better ways to pick it up, this would be awesome. Because like, if, if you're using Corviknight to try and loot Victinis, your opponent can just boss his orders and KO the Corviknight, and it kind of ruins your plans. It's got 160 HP. It's got a bad weakness. It's got an attack that really is not doing much damage until the tail end of the game. And an ability that's awesome if you loop it that, as far as I can see, isn't terribly easy to loop. All of this is absolutely relevant and I don't even really care. Because I think this is going to be a card which is going to be really fun in hyper-specific uses by some people 
in some matchups. Let's go ahead and give it between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be Barbaric. I don't think it's a bad card. I think it's a really good card, and I love the ability. But I think its use at the moment is extremely awkward. Now, if you give me something like Ace Roller back or Super Scoop Up, then we can have a very, very different conversation but that's not where we are at the moment, unfortunately. Also worth pointing out, of course, we did get that alternate art Mimikyu that did have Ace Roller on the artwork. So you never know, ladies and gentlemen. You never know. Also, for what it's worth, going back to our predictions, we predicted disruption, copying, and helping to set up. I would argue this ability is very disruptive and that it stops you attacking, but there is no copying. You could kind of argue that it's copying your opponent's prize cards and multiplying it by three for damage, but no. So one out of three in terms of what it does and two out of four in terms of the basics. Not terrible, but I think it's fair to say didn't quite nail the prediction on this one. But we had fun. As always, ladies and gentlemen, this is the point in the video where I want to know what you think about Mimikyu and whether you think there's a way to loop it I haven't thought about. So go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.